Is this what you guys wanted? Is this what you wanted? Me wearing this garbage of a shirt? Are you guys entertained now? Can I take this off? I can't. I can't. Why the fuck did I bet against Loka? One nut shot. That's why I'm wearing this shirt. One nut shot. And he didn't even hit his nuts. He just hit me. Ricky, you got this. Okay. Hey, guys. How's it going? Ricky here from Most Valuable Podcast. And if you're new to the channel, I'm not a Cavs fan. I can't stand the Cavs because I'm from Chicago. And I kind of can't stand LeBron James, even though I respect his game. But I bet. Against Sean said the Warriors would win at the beginning of the season. The deal was if the Warriors won, he would have to do the Warriors video in a Draymond Green shirt. And if the Cavs won, I'd have to wear a King James shirt. I mean, it's only fitting because I guess the King has really returned home because I'm the King of MVP. But yeah, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this this draft. For the Cavs, the quicker we get it over, the quicker I can take this shirt off and give it to Sean. But, yeah, no, this one they only had one pick, and it's actually one that you guys kept asking us about on our draft videos was Kay Felder, and this is a guy out of Oakland. They get him in the second round, and this is... It's interesting because Kay Felder, to me, it's like, did the Cavs really... The Cavs could have done exactly what the Miami Heat did. And still would have got a good grade. They didn't have to make a draft choice in this draft to still be good. Because you're still going to have LeBron James. You're still going to have Kyrie Irving. You probably will have Kevin Love. We'll see how the offseason goes on that. The big ones are, is Richard Jefferson coming back? Is JR going to come back? Are your role pieces going to come back? But no, I mean, Felder to me, he's a point guard who can score with the basketball. He's got the motor, the defense, everything you want in a point guard. And this is, if they can develop him right, he could possibly be a good guy off the bench. The way I see this is in, because he's restricted, I don't know if they're going to lose him this year, but once delhi has gone for good, this is the guy that basically takes Delhi's place coming off the bench because really you're not going to have Felder come in and be in the starting role right away. We'll have to see how he does. He can shoot the three. He's quick. If he develops right, he can be a good role player for this Cavs team. So I'm going to go and give him a B because of the potential possibility for Felder. And thank God I can finally take this shirt off. Thank you guys for checking out our NBA draft grades. If you like the grade that I gave your team, let me know down below. Guess what? If you hated it, let me know down below too. There's probably a few of you that disagreed with my opinion. Make sure you go and check us out on social media. I'm at Ricky Widmer. Most Valuable Podcast is at Most Valuable Pod. We're on Patreon at patreon.com backslash Most Valuable Podcast. For those of you who want to support the channel in a different way than hitting that like and subscribe button down below. And if you spend a dollar, you get an exclusive podcast each and every month for patrons of Most Valuable Pod. So go check that out. Link is right there. Thank you guys again for checking out our NBA draft grades. I'll see you in the next one. But as always, have a good day, everybody.